Hey folks, it is review day here. Um, we got we got a shipment in from Bucks Holsters. I know we've been waiting for it for a while, so uh, let's just get into the getting. Well, first thing we need to do is we need to clear our weapon. And as you can see, we are clear. All right, here we are in all our glory. And we did a pretty good job of matching colors because we all know that's important. You gotta look good. What we have here is Buck's Holsters Little Buck. Uh, this is a custom, custom job done for me by Ross down in Buck's Holsters. Um, we went with the the tricolor cam with tan inside. <clears throat> I prefer the plastic clip, although he always, you know, if you can put different kind of clips on there, there's a metal one, a couple different metal ones. There is a, uh, a tuck type clip that you can also get installed. Um, the little buck does come with a moddable wing. And when I say that, Look right here, folks. There's a screw right there. You can change the aspect of this, of the grippy edge of the wing, as it, as it were. It's a captive nut. There's a couple different variations you can get there. We went with this one to start with. Um, what else do we have? It is adjustable for cant. Um, you can't really see. Well, there's the hole right there. It's two holes. So it's adjustable. I like it straight up and down because I carry right back here. Um, just little things that went into this that I liked. Um, he made he molded this custom for my gun. Um, if you notice, he included the little little extra bump that comes on the polymer 80s. That guy right there, like a glove. Oh, here, let's, we don't have one in the chamber, but we have, the, and this is out of the box, folks. I have not adjusted anything. I am not squeezing this very tightly. So, looks good, fits good. I mean, he went as far as to even color match <laughs> the washers. And uh, he's, no, they've upped their game a little bit by including their stamp on there. It's not molded in, it's silk screened on. Uh, what else do we have? For those of you that don't know, here you go. Lux holsters. And for those of you that are interested, here's your QR, there's your address. Is the address on there? Yeah, right there. Address is right there on the bottom. And I will send her that QR code up there. So if anybody wants to capture that, you guys can. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what do we got here? 80, 80 thousandths uh, Kydex. Um, it does include an RMR cut, although I do not have an RMR on my, don't have a red dot optic on this firearm, but that's fine. Every edge is beveled, sanded, and polished. Raised front sight channel. It includes the foamy clip. Uh, well, let's check the draw. Feels good to me. Although I am a little biased. <laughs> oh, I I can't tell you how happy I am to get this. Um, the Fab Defense was a good holster. I am going to keep it. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, maybe I'll, I mean, I can always use it as my in the house holster too. Cause fun fact, if you take your firearm out, you should still keep it in the holster. Uh, it just adds a margin of safety. Um, in the event that it's knocked off the table, uh, it keeps, keeps hands immediately off the firearm for you know, safety purposes. So, um, we're going to go out and give her a walk tomorrow. Um, I, I just got home from work a little while ago, so, uh, 
I'm gonna do some traveling tomorrow and get some errands done because tomorrow's my Saturday. So uh, I'll wear it all day long. Um, probably all day. Let's see, tomorrow's Tuesday. I'll probably wear it all day Wednesday too. I might even take it, maybe take a trip to the range tomorrow too. Um, do some do some draws with it. Uh, I just you know I I can't say enough good things about bucks. I will uh, include a link in the pinned comment below. Um, so bucks holsters, folks. You can't go wrong. Made in the USA down in fun fun Florida. So I guess I can get rid of this old. I'll keep this fly old flyer. What the hell? I'll keep it. I'll keep that one right there. And as always, 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 we will mention and we will continue to keep mentioning these good folks. If I don't get this, get this dust and dirt on this thing, geez. US CCA, the US Concealed Carry Association. Um, they are not they are not affiliates, they are not sponsors of this, but I cannot say enough good things about these folks. Contact these folks, uh, self-defense insurance, training, just tons of resources on their website. It's worth the money to join, folks. It's worth it. Check them out. Yeah, been a member since 2019, 2018, 2018, 2019, something like that. Let me look. I think that I think I don't know if that card that's right on that card or not. Oh, 2019. 2019. That one says 20. That was my new that was my new card. Okay, never mind. <laughs> anyway, folks. Um uh, who else do I need to give a shout out to? It's been very it's very hot here, so I'm playing scramble um oh yeah four scan ammunition every key tag you get a key tag with every box for one side has the first amendment and our favorite ones on the set on the other side the second amendment fort scott ammunition they live in several of my guns here um do not have any loaded into the uh p26 yet but uh we're still breaking in. Right now I'm running Winchester Defender Silver Tip, 147 grain. It's short barrel. I'm just, I'm wanting a little heavier round, a little less recoil. Nah, sue me. Uh, who else do we need to mention? Uh, Corbon Ammunition. Uh, another friend of the, friend of the channel, so to speak. Uh, they don't, they're no, not affiliates. Uh, I will put a link to them in the pinned comment, uh, we've been in talks with them a little bit. Um, we might bring them on as an affiliate. Uh, who else? Yeah, I think that's it. So we'll uh, we'll shout out those folks in the pinned comment below. You guys be safe. Keep your powder dry, folks, and uh, stay tuned.